All right, this is pre-calculus B, unit three, lesson four, law of sines. We're going to continue uh, using the law of sines and the law of cosines, which you're going to learn about in the next lesson, to solve non-right triangles. Okay, so I want to point out one thing about using the law of sines. To use the law of sines, which is that the sine of an angle to its opposite side has a constant ratio. Sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Okay, in which A, B, and C are vertices of a non-right triangle, and it actually works for right triangles as well. It's just more general. And the opposite sides are labeled with matching letters, capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c. Okay, the naming convention goes that way. And we are to use, this is my own note, use the law of sines when you have at least one side angle pair. A pair of A's, a pair of B's, or a pair of C's. Okay, If you have a side angle pair, then you can use the law of sines. That's kind of a test to, to determine if the law of sines works. Okay, Now I'm going to organize the, the next uh, couple of videos here in this way. We can solve right non-right triangles of various kinds, and we sort them by the by their type. Uh, their, you remember the tri triangle congruence postulates. Triangles are congruent if three sides are, are congruent, if so two sides and an included angle are congruent, if two angles and an included side are congruent, if two angles and a non-included side are congruent, or if a hypotenuse and a leg are congruent, but that's a right triangle, so we're going to leave that off. Okay, we're gonna, we've got these four cases, all of, the, all of which are cases in which triangles can be solved. Note, by the way, there is no angle side side, because that spells a bad word, and there is no angle angle angle. Okay, and so uh, the angle side side is a special case that deserves some attention. We may address that later on. I'm going to look at these two right here, because these two cases are the cases in which the law of sines can work. Okay, so let's draw a non-right triangle. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, Whoop. didn't extend that far enough. Okay. Not drawing any particular triangle or anything, just, uh, you know, drawing generic triangles to get things straight is kind of important here. But let's say I happen to know this is 62 degrees, and I happen to know this is 42 degrees, and I happen to know this side is 18 inches, okay? And I want to solve the triangle, so I'd like to find the rest of the sides and angles. So let's label for convenience A, B, C, okay, and lowercase a is the 18, lowercase b, lowercase c. So let's ask our question. Do I have at least one pair of side angles that I know? I have a and big A and little a. So that's one pair that I have, so I can use the law of sines. So here's what the law of sines says. It says sine of 62 sine of 62 over its opposite side, 18, equals, and I get to pick. I'm going to pick B. So sine 42 over B. Okay, and there we go. Now it's just a matter of solving the proportion. That's cross, multiply, and divide, right? Or the way I like to think of it here is B is the variable I'm going to solve for. So I'm going to multiply the diagonal B is not on and divide by the remaining side. So you can do it all in one step that way. So B 
is 18 sine 42 over sine 62. Okay, and that is approximately, let's get Desmos up here. Oh, Desmos. Okay, here we go. Now, one of the things we need to be aware of is Desmos defaults to radians. We are not in radian mode here. We are in degree mode. So let's make sure our calculator is set to degrees. Anytime you deal with sine, cosine, and tangent, you've got to know which mode you're working with. So 18 sine 42, all divided by sine 62, and I get about 13.6. 13.6 inches, that's B. Okay, and if I want to find C, I can do much the same thing here. Okay, so I can find C the same way. Uh, let's see, now C, if I want to find the missing angle, we, we need to find that here, okay? So we're going to subtract from 180. Angle C is 180, take away, take away 62 and 42, because the angles of a triangle add to 180. 62 and 42 is 104, so angle C is 180 minus 104, which is 76 degrees. So we can write this, sine, sine of uh, 62, starting with A again, since that's the known pair, over 18 equals sine C, 76, over little c. Again, multiply the diagonal C is not on, divide by the remaining side. And so, so C equals, little c equals 18 sine 76 over sine 62. Very similar to the previous, sine 42 over sine 62. This is sine 76 over sine 62. Okay, so calculator, sine 76 over sine 62 times 18 is 19.8. Now a good way to check is relative size. The smallest angle should be opposite the smallest side. The smallest angle is 42. The smallest side, hopefully, is 13.6, and it is. The biggest angle is 76, and the biggest side is 19.8. So biggest should match with biggest, the smallest should match with smallest. It's a good way to make sure that you've got the answers right. Okay, so we found the missing sides and the missing angles. We have solved the triangle. This counts as an angle-angle side triangle, but it's much the same for angle-side angle. If you know two angles, you know three angles because you can subtract from 180. All right, hopefully that helps.